All right, y'all. Well, we kind of rushed out here, so I didn't film or talk too much, but we are out here at the jetties in the Panga, and I'm gonna be tossing the old trusty gold spoon. We're already marking on the sonar, so let's see if we can pick something up. We're getting fish marks and rock structure. So that is looking fantastic. Just gotta watch our drift here. I picked a day where it was pretty calm down here. We could have gone offshore, but past couple offshore trips, have proved pretty slow. So we're gonna see what we can get here. It is 47 feet and we're marking some fish. I've actually never fished the jetties in the boat before, like this. We're looking for bull redfish. I, I guess I didn't even specify. Just rushing out here on a solo trip. We're gonna see if we can make something happen. I'm thinking maybe if I can winch the fish up vertically, then I can prevent getting cut off by rocks that I typically would get snagged on when I'm fishing on foot. The challenge today is to successfully manage the boat, fish at the same time, and lastly, and most importantly, catch fish. Check that out, y'all. Oh, we're on, we're on. Oh gosh, we rolling? Yes we are, we are on y'all. Oh my gosh, we were just marking galore. And I just hooked up. I don't know how tight my drag is either. We just gotta winch this girl in. Oh yeah, that is a stout fish right there. There we go. Oh my gosh, that is a tank. Absolute tank. Oh my gosh. We are bowed up, baby. Come on now, what do we got? Oh my gosh, that is a tank. I think I like the boat jetty fishing already. Haven't been fishing for 10 minutes. There we go, there he is, redfish. Oh yeah, big boy. Yes. Oh my gosh, we got him hooked on the bottom of the mouth. And gill it looks like. Didn't even hook his inside his mouth. I just hope a shark doesn't come up now and murk him. Almost got me with that treble hook. Oh my gosh. Bruisers. Heck yeah, dude. First fish of the day right here. Big bull red, baby. Haven't been out here 10 minutes and we're already swaying the big boys out of the panga. All right, we're gonna let this guy go. Don't wanna keep him out too long. How about that? Just vertical jigging a spoon, dude. Marking fish, holding a big red. Okay, y'all, so I didn't mention it, but the objective of today's video is to fish with one lure and one lure only. That lure being this two ounce crocodile gold spoon with a treble hook on the back. If you guys have watched my previous videos, this is obviously my number one favorite lure to use at the jetties, and it works at a lot of other places like offshore as well. So today, we're strictly gonna be using the spoon and we're gonna see what we can pick up here on the rocks. You guys stay tuned, it's gonna be good. Dude, that freaking redfish got me good. Look at my other hand too. I think I'm gonna keep puttering around like this. It seems to be working pretty well. I can actually mark the fish and drop it right on them instead of just blind casting here. I'm just kind of puttering around looking for marks. We're getting some here now. We're in a different spot. Just gonna drop it down and see what we can pick up. Oh yeah, that's a redfish for sure. Look at that. Big marks right there. Get ready. Get ready. Oh yeah, look at that. What'd I just say? What'd I say? <laughs> I love electronics, dude. It's almost, oh, there he goes, he's off. I was gonna say it's almost cheating. You can just come out here and mark big schools or individual fish and drop on them. All right, we're marking now. I just dropped the spoon right down where the transducer's at. Here we go. Yep. Yep. 
Got him. I just dropped the spoon right down where we were marking fish. Like literally right next to the transducer, vertically down where it was marking. And it was instantaneous. Now we just gotta watch the jetty. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, he does not want to go where I want to go. Dude, this, gosh. This fish has got me freaking bowed up. Check that out right there. Bruiser, he is grunting. Drumming hard. Oh my gosh. Oh, he's got a heart on this side too. Let's get him unhooked. Check that freaking fish out right there, dude. Massive bull redfish. Heart shaped spot, leopard spot on this side. <laughs> yeah, it's getting the deck a little dirty, so I'm gonna let him go. But check it out, dude. Beast. Okay, so that was our second bull red of the day. I lost that one earlier, didn't get a good hook set. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna have to check the time here. It might be time to go pick up. All right, so we haven't even been out here for an hour. We've already gotten two redfish. I've had the most luck whenever I mark stuff with the sonar and then I just drop it straight down. So, so far so good. Haven't lost any spoons. I've snagged a couple times, but we got it off since we are on the boat. We can kind of putter around, pivot the lure around. And yeah, that's what we're doing. So far, dude, the Panga jetty fishing mission is going amazing, better than expected. Oh gosh, we're marking big marks. All right, I'm gonna drop it right here. Let's see if we can hook up. Oh my gosh, absolute giant school. Please, we gotta hook up. There we go. There we go. We just got on a big school. There we go. Oh yeah, we got a screamer. Dude, I'm telling you guys, every time I see a school on the sonar, drop it down straight on them. We got a ripper. Oh yeah. Good thing is too, we were right by the motor and I can steer us around as needed. Oh my gosh, we got a beast. Yes, dude. Making it happen. Let's go to work, baby. This guy's stout. What a brute. Golly. Dude. Some of that ain't something. I was honestly just about to head in to go wait on my buddy since it was slowing down. I was thinking something with the tide turned midday the bite peaked and it was going down and just as i thought that we got an absolute stallion dude this one looks super bronze what a beauty good thing is too this one is hooked on the outside of the mouth so if we can get him in the boat our hook out job should be simple dude that red has super orangey brown <laughs> bronze on his back I think this is the prettiest one of the day dude gosh absolute tank stop check him out dude absolute beast Look at this redfish. Absolute toad off the jetty out of the panga. First one on the drone cam too. 
Awesome, that fish is so beautiful. I wanna get him back quick. Heck yeah, dude, he went straight in. I guess the boat's driving itself. We're still in reverse. What is going on, dude? Check it out, we're on a school. Once you hit bottom, just start getting tight. I don't know how you haven't been bit. Oh my gosh. Right off the bat? Right here. Yep, he's on. Oh, he's off. Oh, yes, baby. Got him. Yep. Here, let me go under. Oh, baby. So we just found the school of reds. Josh dropped it down. Oh, my. Dude, I've never seen a bigger mark. Today, out of the whole day, that's the biggest one. Oh, my gosh. That's pretty tight, Jack. Dude, you got a big one. All right, we're bowed up over here. Oh man, dude, he's pulling. All right, so I just drove back, picked up Josh, got out here. We're trolling around and uh, just picked up another big redfish school. This one absolutely lit up the sonar. There's still marks on here. Right there, but uh. He was jigging it around, I dropped it down, got a hard hit, missed it, and then Josh hooked up right after. Got a big one. See color? Where's the... All right, he's coming up. We're gonna get this camera mounted. I think we're still marking. Oh, there's another big freaking school. Yeah, just keep him keep loose. Go easy, go easy. Oh, yeah. Man. Oh, that's a story. Boom! There you get them up. Show them the camera there. Is that your biggest red or one of your top three? Yeah, that's definitely my top three. Heck yeah, dude. We're out here hooking on reds. We're still marking, dude. Big school. All right, he's gone. He just threw it back. Let's see if I shoot. Oh, I'm on. He's on? We still marking? Oh, oh, he's off. So Josh hooked up, got him in. I hooked again. I hooked another fish, got off. And then we got all these swells coming in, I guess, from these ships. Oh, we're already on them again. Here, throw my rod down. Throw them on down. I gotta change my camera battery. Let's drop that thing down. Straight back. Straight down. Oh, yeah. Got him? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Alright, Josh just hooked another one. We're all over a school right now. Check it out. We are lit up. I had to change my GoPro battery. I told Josh to drop mine down. And he hooked up instantly. This thing is lit up. We got another good one, dude. Oh yeah. It's gotten a little rougher out here. The wind's picked up, so I'm having a lot more trouble managing the boat. It's a lot easier with two guys. One can hook up while I can steer. He can get on the side here. Bending my hooks. I know, man. Put that foot through that one. Take a fish in five the minutes? One, like two minutes. <laughs> Dude, look at it. Studs. <laughs> Oh yeah. Oh yeah, they're here, right under us. Got them. All right, Josh just hooked up again. We just marked. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, we're on. Doubled up, baby. Give me some. <laughs> All right, we gotta drive the boat too. <laughs> it's so hectic. Dude, look at this. You're getting smoked. I'm getting ripped. Let's go. Gotta have us a day. Oh, he's digging deep. I cannot keep up. Oh shoot. Oh shoot. All right, I'm gonna spin us around. All right, I'm trying to drive. Drive the boat and catch a fish. Get in the boat. All right, you're good. You can send him now. It's getting hectic. All right. Another red fish. Absolute studs. I can't keep up, it's getting hectic. Whoa. It's getting hectic out here, waves are coming in. But just another beautiful brood of a red. See you, bud.
right, y'all, so we called it heading back in now. We definitely left quite a few redfish schools, but it just gets to a point when you've already caught so many that there's really nothing left in catching another one. So rolling back in, I'm happy. Josh got three, I think I got four reds. And it was fun. Overall, really cool jetty fishing trip on the Ponga and the Panga. So uh, I'm excited about it. Got out there and got back in a quick span of time. So super cool. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know down below. You know, jetty fishing out of the Panga was definitely a lot more efficient. I'd say that we got out there faster, didn't lose spoons and were able to winch those reds up and really release them how you should as well. You don't have to brush them up on the rocks whenever you're landing them. But yeah, that's the video. We just got to put the boat on the trailer and then we'll get back, so. Yeah.